Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. As Swerve versus Will Ospreay. God, what a what a show closing match this was. Will Ospreay's a cheat code. Will, go have one of the best matches all year. Yes, sir. Done. You know, we talked about Will Ospreay before, but you know the thing with Will Ospreay and also Swerve Strickland is? You know why this match was so amazing? It's because these are two guys. If you and I had a match, Vinny. Yes, sir. Especially today. It'd be like, you know, a pretty damn simple match. <laughs> yes. And if I had like an idea for a spot, we'd have to really think about whether we could pull it off. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. These guys, it's it's literally like anything they can think of, they can both do. That's true. I got an idea. Let's do a fucking Hurricane Rana off the railing to the floor. Let's do a pile driver on that skinny railing. Yeah, yes. If, if you didn't see the show, this is not the WWE dasher board with like a foot wide. This barricade no. is barely, barely any wider than their feet. Let's do a spot where I'm going to go for an os cutter, but you're going to sprint ahead of me and jump to the top rope and swerve stomp me out of midair as I do it. Yes. Like, what? And they did everything. You're they not pulled do- everything off. Anything that they could imagine, they did. You didn't even list the most amazing one. Swerve sets him up for the stomp onto the apron, but Will rolls out of the way. Oh. And live on TV... The rest of the shot is like a close-up of Swerve on the top rope. So you can't see what, what uh, Will is doing, what Osprey is doing. And suddenly, you just see Swerve fly. And Osprey was standing in front of the announce desk. And from that position, Swerve hits him with a stomp onto the announce desk. I thought Will broke his back. I well, if you could see, if you watched it, Osprey jumped just enough so that when he got hit, he landed on the he, table. He took a flat back bump on the table, barely. Yes. But yes, I, live when it first happened, I thought he, uh, he he bent over the table like Homer Simpson bending over the fire hydrant. I thought Swerve broke both his legs. I thought they were both dead. Turns out they're totally fine. It scared the absolute holy hell out of me. But yeah. <laughs> this match was unbelievable. Osprey had this giant giant bruise on his face Mm -hmm. when it was over, so I don't know what that was all about. And, you know, the funny thing is that there was one thing I didn't like about the match. They're doing all of this incredible rest. It's just great. And then the referee takes a bump, and out comes Don Callis, okay? Mm -hmm. And he, he has a screwdriver, and he wants Will to use the screwdriver. And Will can't bring himself to do it. And so Nana attacks Don Callis, shoves him down. Don actually took a bump, which may have been the biggest story on all of Forbidden Door. Don Callis took a bump. Yes. So, you know, Will goes to kill Nana. Nana's begging off, and, and Will can't bring himself to do it. Okay? Yeah, yeah, Will can't bring himself to stab a prince Nana with a screwdriver. Yes. Yeah. So he gets back in the ring. And, you know, when they did the, when they did the match on Wednesday, it was obvious what the story was. Will Ospreay is a nice guy. He wants to win his matches, but he doesn't want to, like, really hurt anybody. Now, some people go, well, it's wrestling. The whole goal is to hurt somebody. Well, it is, but, like, the whole goal in jiu-jitsu is to submit somebody. But you don't want to heel hook and hurt somebody. Right. You want to beat them. You want to submit them, but you don't want to hurt them. Will's deal is I want to win matches, but I don't want to really hurt somebody bad. That's why the story of the match Wednesday was, you know, Swerve does not have that problem. He snapped that dude's arm and he beat him. Right. So, you know, everybody, like I saw people online upset that there was a ref bump and some shenanigans, but that was part of the story. Mm-hmm. He wanted Will to do something dastardly to win. Will is too nice a guy, he can't do it. So then the only thing I didn't like about this match is... He then gets in the ring, and he grabs Swerve, and he just smiles and joyfully screams, Tiger Driver. (laughs) Like, after all that, after he hit it on Brian Danielson, and then he was like, I'll never do that that move again. You can never get me to do that move again. Like, I thought that the whole story was, he'd get Swerve, he's about to do the Tiger Driver, but he can't bring himself to do it. And then, you know, Swerve breaks his arm like a horrible human, and he beats him. I thought that's the finish of this match. But instead, Osprey is delighted to be going for the Tiger Driver. And then it gets counted, or countered, 
And then, uh, you know, Swerve does all of his big moves and arm breaker, house call, JML driver, and pins him. And to me, it was kind of like, that's kind of ruined the entire story. Now he's ready to do the tiger driver again? I figured he would, like, fail multiple times because he can't bring himself to do it. And then finally, when the day comes, I got to do it to win. And he does it and he wins and everybody goes nuts. But now it's like he's ready to do it. So that was weird. Yeah. I mean, the the, the, the whole... Listen, the review of the match is Will Ospreay had his monthly match of the year. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how many times you could ask me to say the same thing. He had one of the best matches you'll see all year. It justified the price of the pay-per-view on its own. You should go out of your way to see it. Watch it several times. It's incredible. You know, Dave jokes about it, but like he talks about, you know, for rest, for the match of the year, it should be like match of the year and match of the year not involving Will Ospreay. Yeah, I just said the same thing. He says it as a joke, but like... It's actually true. Like this guy's gonna have like nine of the ten matches yes. of the year. Yeah. It's completely insane. Yes. So uh so without talking about that, we can talk about the finish and the booking and all that we did. You all presumably heard me say I would not have beaten Will Ospreay in the year twenty twenty four. They did. No point in rehashing that now. So let's talk about how they got there. Uh the stuff with Don Cat, the, the, the ref bump even kind of groaned. It, was, it felt very WWE. Uh, the stuff with Don Callis, it has been playing out for a long time. And and Will had that line a week or two ago. I, I don't need Don Callis or the family to do this. I can do it on my own. So it, it, this didn't come out of nowhere, this disagreement between the two of them. And uh, it was it was very uh, schizophrenic, if I can use that word, for, for Osprey's behavior. Because it, it, it changed. It was very polar. He did not want to use the screwdriver on uh, on uh, Swerve. But then when Nana pushes Dawn down, now Will is ready to stab Prince Nana, a man half his size, to death with a screwdriver on worldwide pay-per-view. And then decided, no, no, that's a bad idea. I won't do that. But as you noted, he gets in the ring and he's ready to kill Swerve with the tiger driver. And Swerve had to escape it. He, he countered it into his cradle or whatever. Uh, they, and they went through whatever. They did at least, they did, if you were going to beat Will, they did everything possible they could to protect him. He had a visual pin with a hidden blade when the ref was bumped. He kicked out of everything. He kicked out of the house call. He kicked out of the stomp. After, uh, you know, everyone was sure he was dead. And uh, finally, in the end, the one thing he did not kick out of this time was the JML driver, or which apparently they used a new name for it here, but uh, it's a pile driver thing. And uh, so that, that is how Swerve won. So next time they wrestle, Will can get a kick out of that, and everyone was pissed themselves with glee. And uh, I think most fans there were surprised, and I think most were probably also disappointed. But I will say, those who were not disappointed were very, 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 very happy to see Swerve retain here. I was, I was baffled at people that thought that uh, Will Ospreay was going to win this match because... Like, if he's going to win the title, why would you not do it in two months at Wembley? No, there's that. Why would you do it? For, it doesn't. It didn't make any sense whatsoever for him to win this match. And I do want to say, I mean, we've been putting over Will Ospreay very, very big, but this was Swerve's greatest performance in AEW. I think this was the best he ever looked. I think this was the most he ever came across as, like, a massive star, a massive big-time main eventer, a great champion. I mean, this this was just like, whatever you thought about the rest of the show, maybe disappointed with this or that or heat or whatever, this main event was just absolutely, completely fantastic. So, yeah. and watch just, it. Just real quick, after the match, Swerve addressed Will, told him it was not personal, it was business. So he won, their issue's over. And then Kyle Fletcher was out there ringside, the only member of the Don Callis family consoling his friend Will Ospreay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.